For decades, NASA's approach to space was defined by caution, a culture shaped by the memory of triumphs and tragedies alike. Every mission was a high-stakes endeavor, and the margin for error was razor-thin. Every launch was meticulously planned, with teams of experts poring over data and double-checking every detail. The focus was always on minimizing risk, ensuring that nothing was left to chance. Rockets were single-use, expensive and discarded after each mission, giant machines built for a single moment, then left to rust or sink beneath the waves. The idea of reusing rockets was dismissed as fantasy, a dream for science fiction rather than serious engineering. Progress was slow, innovation often stifled by layers of bureaucracy and a deep-seated fear of failure. The industry moved at a glacial pace, weighed down by tradition and red tape. Then, Elon Musk arrived, shattering the old rules and challenging the status quo with a bold new vision. He saw discarded rockets as wasted potential, convinced that reusability was the key to making space accessible to all, not just a privileged few. Industry veterans scoffed, calling it impossible, and many dismissed Musk's ambitions as reckless or naive. But SpaceX proved them wrong, landing rockets and recovering them from the sea, turning what was once unthinkable into routine. NASA's legacy was built on national prestige, limitless budgets and the pursuit of the extraordinary. SpaceX, by contrast, was built on relentless cost-cutting, rapid iteration, and a drive for efficiency that left the old guard scrambling to keep up. Musk's ultimate goal was to make spaceflight as routine, reliable and affordable as air travel, opening the cosmos to humanity. Now as SpaceX aims to land Starship on ocean platforms, the old guard watches in awe and apprehension, uncertain but unable to look away. The vision is clear, frequent launches and landings at sea, transforming science fiction into reality and redefining what's possible in space. The future of space is being built by those willing to take bold risks, challenge convention, and dream bigger than ever before. SpaceX's journey to reusable rockets began with the Falcon 9, a bold vision to revolutionize space travel by making rockets land and fly again, instead of burning up or crashing into the ocean after every launch. This idea was met with skepticism, but SpaceX pressed on, determined to change the industry forever. The early days were filled with dramatic setbacks and a string of public failures. Rockets exploded, toppled over and crashed spectacularly, all in front of the world's eyes. But each crash was a lesson, not a defeat. Every failure revealed new data, new insights and new ways to improve. SpaceX engineers refined landing algorithms, strengthened landing legs and perfected engine burns, constantly tweaking and testing learning from every attempt. In 2015, after years of relentless effort, Falcon 9 finally landed safely for the first time. This historic moment proved that rocket reusability was not just a dream but a real possibility. Soon after SpaceX achieved another milestone landing Falcon 9 on a drone ship at sea, this was a true game-changer opening up new possibilities for rocket recovery. Sea landings meant rockets could carry heavier payloads to higher orbits, since they didn't need to save as much fuel to return to land. Today, over 300 Falcon 9 boosters have landed successfully, transforming the economics of spaceflight and making regular launches possible. What was once thought impossible is now routine, with landings broadcast live and celebrated around the world. Now, SpaceX faces its next challenge. Starship, a rocket nearly 400 feet tall designed to carry humans to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Landing Starship is like catching a skyscraper as it falls from the sky, requiring immense precision, split-second timing, and the ability to handle colossal forces. Its unique belly flop maneuver slows its descent, flipping from horizontal to vertical just before landing, a breathtaking feat of engineering. Moving landings offshore is essential for rapid, frequent launches, and for keeping people and property safe as rockets grow larger and more powerful. The hard-won lessons from Falcon 9 have set the stage for this new era, but Starship's ocean landings are a leap into the unknown, pushing the boundaries of what's possible and shaping the future of space exploration. Landing Starship on a moving ocean platform is a high-stakes engineering ballet, where every second and every movement counts. Imagine trying to set down a skyscraper onto a floating target that's never still, always shifting beneath you. The Super Heavy Booster must target a platform that's constantly shifting with the waves, pitching and rolling unpredictably as the ocean swells. Even the calmest seas can turn turbulent in moments, making precision absolutely critical. Real-time guidance systems, powered by advanced algorithms and sensors, adjust for wind, sea motion, and atmospheric changes, 
recalculating the booster's trajectory hundreds of times per second to ensure a pinpoint landing. The booster, weighing hundreds of tons, must land gently, too hard, and it crushes the platform, too soft, and it topples. The margin for error is razor thin, demanding both brute strength and delicate control. The platform must withstand shock waves, searing heat, and repeated landings without failing. Every touchdown tests the limits of engineering, pushing materials to their breaking point. Securing a 30-story rocket on a floating deck is another challenge, especially in rough seas. The rocket must be stabilized quickly before the next wave or gust of wind threatens its balance. SpaceX's solution, Robotic Arms Mechazilla, is designed to catch and stabilize the booster, acting with split-second timing and immense precision. Replicating this at sea means compensating for constant motion and quickly locking down the rocket, no matter how wild the weather or how rough the waves. The entire process must be autonomous, reliable and resilient to saltwater storms and mechanical failures. There's no room for hesitation or error when the elements are this unforgiving. Every system from hydraulics to communications must be ocean-hardened, built to survive relentless corrosion, pounding waves, and the harshest conditions on Earth. It's not just landing a rocket, it's taming a skyscraper in the wild, where the ocean is both the stage and the ultimate adversary. Starship's power and noise make frequent land launches impractical. Sonic booms and safety risks limit operations near people. The ocean offers a vast, empty buffer, allowing launches and landings far from populated areas. Offshore platforms eliminate the risk of debris over land and sidestep regulatory hurdles. Mobile sea platforms can be positioned anywhere, optimizing launch trajectories for each mission. This flexibility is a major advantage over fixed land sites. NASA never faced this challenge, its expendable rockets only needed launch pads. SpaceX needs rapid, repeated launches and landings, which land-based ports can't support. Building many land ports is costly and complex, ocean platforms are scalable and adaptable. They enable a global high-frequency launch network. The ocean is the only way to make Starship's ambitious schedule a reality. Recent FAA filings reveal SpaceX's plan over 100 Starship launches and recoveries per year, all at sea. This isn't a distant dream, it's an operational blueprint. The scale dwarfs all current launch activity, shifting spaceflight from rare events to routine service. After landing boosters are tipped horizontally for stable transport back to port, a clever solution for ocean travel. Operations will be far offshore minimizing regulatory and environmental issues. Platforms named Phobos and Deimos will serve as mobile, self-contained spaceports. They could eventually support refueling and relaunches, creating a global launch network. Every detail is designed for scale and efficiency. Musk isn't just building rockets, he's building the infrastructure for a spacefaring civilization. The FAA filing is our first real look at this industrial-scale vision. At Starship's core is the Raptor engine, a leap in rocket technology. The latest Raptor 3 is mostly welded, not bolted, eliminating failure points and speeding up production. This makes the engine non-repairable, a radical shift from traditional aerospace thinking. Instead of fixing engines, SpaceX simply replaces them, betting that mass production is cheaper and more reliable. Each engine is identical, with performance controlled by manufacturing precision, not repairs. The goal make engines so reliable and cheap that replacement is routine. This philosophy lowers costs and increases launch rates. Borrowed from automotive mass production, it's controversial but effective. The Raptor 3 embodies SpaceX's drive for radical innovation and affordability. It's the engine powering the dream of Mars. SpaceX's real advantage isn't just technology, it's speed. While traditional aerospace spent years planning, SpaceX builds, tests, fails, and improves in rapid cycles. Starship prototypes are built in weeks, not years, and every failure is a lesson. This hardware-rich approach uncovers problems simulations miss, it's why SpaceX solved rocket landings while others hesitated. The culture rewards learning from failure, not punishing it. As ocean landings begin, expect setbacks and explosions, but each one brings progress. This relentless iteration is what will make Mars missions possible. SpaceX is redefining how aerospace moves forward, build, test, learn, repeat. The fastest path to the future is to create it, one bold step at a time. The new frontier belongs to the fearless.